Hi everybody, Father Marshall Shelley here coming to you from St. Peter's. I'm actually somewhere where I posted one of my first vlogs to you all, uh, welcoming you to our YouTube channel and also marking the beginning of this season of separation that has been uh, the lockdown during pandemic. One of the challenges that we have all faced over the course of this past year is that sense of separation from each other and I hope that these videos have done their part to bridge the gap that too often feels almost insurmountable between us these days and that you get a sense not only of the life and the ministry and the mission of St. Peter's but also an awareness that you are being prayed for and thought of and, uh, and the leadership of this parish, the membership of this parish continues to be connected by spirit if not in person and we really strive to make sure that we do everything we can to ensure that that feeling but also that reality is in place for us. We are one in Christ and we are all members of one body and it's important for us to remember that all the time, even in these moments of physical separation. We need not feel spiritual separation from each other or from Christ. I chose this spot uh, to reminisce a little bit about the year that has passed and all that we've been able to do together. Some of it has been a part. We've established the daily office virtually and uh, people have been joining that uh, both as uh, members of our online community but also in person in the morning and in the evening, Monday through Thursday. We have a devoted following of folks who are joining us all over the place, uh, from Florida up to Ohio and out to California even sometimes, who take part in our worship services when we offer them virtually. And of course, when the weather is good, as it hopefully will be this weekend, we'll be together uh, on the other side of the building, just past me, just past the camera there, opposite me, uh, as we gather for the uh, Sunday of Letere Sunday in Lent, which will get me to our word of the week in a minute. I want to assure you here from the St. Francis Garden that we continue to pray for, think of, and remember all those whom we have lost, not only in this past year, but also in our lives. That sense of separation from those we love because of the gate of death is really one that walks with us always, and we feel that grief now perhaps more than ever, ever as we are tenderized and sensitized to the reality of loss in our lives. We're also given opportunities to celebrate hope. We're experiencing recovery in some new ways with the arrival of vaccines, with the recovery of folks who have gone through the experience of having had COVID and are feeling better, um, particularly as these days and the weather softens, it is a good feeling to be outside and to have the sun strike our face, the wind uh, move our, uh, our hair and, and really just refresh our spirits. So we give thanks for that. Um, one of the things I want to point to here at St. Peter's is we are getting ready for Holy Week. And as it stands right now, we are looking at doing a hybrid Holy Week. We'll be offering, of course, everything virtually, and we'll be broadcasting that both on Facebook and on YouTube. We hope to have in-person worship for both Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. And we also hope to have Tuesday evening for Stations of the Cross in person and also broadcast, as well as aspects of the Triduum, which we're still in the course of planning for Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and the Great Vigil. But we'll keep you posted on all those things as they develop. I've been asked by the bishop to chair a task subgroup on vaccine access. And below me in the e-news, um, and also linked uh, in, the, uh, in the YouTube announcement, you'll see uh, an email address and an opportunity for you. If you are registered in New Jersey and you'd like to find an appointment here, um, we have a way to do that uh, through a contact in New Brunswick that can get people in with appointments in blocks of 10 uh, at the Edison Super Site. So we're doing our be level best to make sure that if you are eligible and registered in New Jersey for the vaccine, St. Peter's and other local churches will do everything they can to make sure you can get an appointment. That seems to be the hardest part for folks once they've been registered and named eligible is finding a time and a place in order to get that shot. 
or at least the first one. So we'll do everything we can for that. So again, check out the link, send us an email, let us know your thoughts, and we'll do everything we can to support you in seeking those vaccinations. If you know someone in your life who is eligible for the vaccine and is having a hard time because of um, a lack of technology or, uh, uh, or even having a phone number at all, or is someone who needs particular help in navigating um, some of the, uh, the engines that are designed to facilitate people who have access to technology and the resources to go across the state to find a shot, um, please let us know as well and we'll do everything we can so that we can have racial and social and economic justice in those seeking the vaccine. This gets us, uh, as I conclude my words to you, uh, to our word of the week. And the word of the week is Leitere. I had some fun this morning doing some research on this. Um, there are two Sundays called Rose Sundays in Advent and in Lent. One in Advent is called Gaudete, and that is a Sunday in which the if you choose to engage in disciplines during Advent, you are able to lift those disciplines for a time. Leiteri is the same one. Um, the third Sunday of Advent, the fourth Sunday of Lent for uh, those rejoicing Sundays, those pink Sundays, those refreshment Sundays. The interesting thing about the, that word, those two words, is that they are basically the same thing. Gaudete and Leiteri both mean in Latin, rejoice. However, I learned this from my friend who is a Latin scholar. Gaudete refers to a plural rejoicing. In other words, let's all celebrate or all y'all celebrate. Have a, uh, a celebration that involves community, that involves um, the wider networks that you uh, are a part of. Leiteri is different. Leiteri is actually a personal imperative. It is, it is designed to speak to an individual when someone says um, to you, um, rejoice and, and aims it as Leiteri, they are intending that that joy be yours. It's a personal experience. So think of rather than all y'all as y'all. So rejoicing in this day, and I think it's very appropriate on this Sunday coming up, is meant not just to lift our spirits, but also to provoke us to realize that all of us have an opportunity before us in these days to find out what that personal bliss, that personal joy is. And I've been impressed with that this past day. I've had a couple of encounters with folks pastorally in which they've tried to uh, articulate what it's like to seek and find that, that own personal note of joy that all of us so desperately need. It's not wrong as an individual to want to find that joy and contentment um, and to seek it because it turns out that once we have that as a person in Christ, we are also to share that in community in Christ. So I urge you in this coming week to find that way of expressing your own ability to call out Leiteri. Leiteri to yourself in the mirror in the morning. Leiteri to those you are closest to. Make it a personal enjoinder, a personal gift to another. I thank you very much, Father Marshall Shelley. Please do uh, tune in to the life of Christ here at St. Peter's and know that we extend this to all. Welcome home.